YouTube, what's up, man? It's draft champion season. The opportunity to learn a new game mode, get comfortable with it, learn how to play it, learn how to qualify for the next EA Major, which is the Madden Challenge. Great time of year, man. You'll have everybody playing the leaderboards, everybody trying to compete. It should be easy for you guys to make it in the top 100. I think you need to be a top 128. So if you want to compete in the challenges, you want to get to the live events, you want to play on the stage with the best players in the world, man, make sure you're playing draft champions. And obviously it's a mode maybe you guys aren't all the way comfortable with. You're not all the way, you know, locked in on and you haven't played it that much. And I'm going to go through a couple drafts, let you guys know about what I think when I draft and how I make sure I get the best team I possibly can and how I like to, you know, key in on the positions that are going to make my team as best as possible. You know, it's something that, that I think you guys should have a better hang, hang of when you're drafting because I see a lot of people drafting the teams and just making bad decisions from my personal preference and kind of how I think when the game, you know, how to play the game and so on and so forth. Now, it's draft champions. So, you know, I think the run has always been more prominent in draft champions because the offensive line is a little bit better. Like the gold backups or the gold base players you're going to have in offensive line are better than the 10 caps you'll have in salary caps. So people are going to be able to run the ball a lot better, especially if they wind up with one of the goon running backs. The goon running backs have always dominated draft champions. Whether it be, uh, I remember, what's his name? Uh, Eric Dickerson, back when Mo won his belt with the double juke. Great, probably the best running back at the time at the time in the game. And he was huge in the game. Walter Payton's always been a great draft champion. Barry Sanders this year. Somebody that can really carry you in draft champions. So for me personally, I want to make sure I stockpile my D-line with fat guys. And I also want to make sure I get as many DBs as possible. Even more so this year with DBs being able to play the linebacker position in certain formations. Linebacker might be overlooked, man. I might try to throw a couple on there if they're if they're there for a draft. So I can put them in my 3-4 or my 4-3 to stop the run inside the 10-yard line. But most of them will be looking at D-linemen, people to stop the run, get after the pass, and DBs. DBs, 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 DBs. I remember last year I always wanted six. This year, with being able to put them in linebacker, I might want eight DBs. So that's that's going to be that crazy for DBs. I'm really not sure the glitchy base players that they give you. That's something where I'm going to update these videos for draft champions as they go. But sometimes the base players you have can really help you, man. If you have a base player that they already give you that you can use in the game, it's definitely going to give you a leg up on your opponent. I'm going to get more comfortable with knowing who those players are. But right now, I'm just going to show you guys what I do when I go through a draft, man. Obviously, I want to pass the ball. I want three wide receivers. A tight end can be huge in this game mode. If you can get an Evan Ingram or a Vernon Davis, somebody that's fast at tight end, it could dominate. Because like I said, I mean, some people will be stuck with a 78-speed tight end or something like that. So having a good tight end can really tilt the, the scale in your favor as far as team's concerned. So that's dumb, definitely something I want to get, man. Three good wide receivers, a tight end. And, and right now, see, the, the quarterback, sometimes they give you bad quarterback rounds. So if they give you bad quarterback rounds, I would definitely pick a great quarterback in the legend round. So let's check out run through a couple drafts and give you guys what I think and why I pick what I do when I'm drafting. As you see here, this is a player friend. I mean, I remember all the live events I qualified for in draft chambers, I would sit here and draft on player friend over and over and over, knowing like what to expect, what comes up the most, what, you know, what areas I really need to make sure I secure quickly. And that's pretty much what I do. I mean, I know I'm going to have a running back round, wide receiver round, things like that. And this is just all preference, man. And then right now, this this playbook setting, I'd probably pick Green Bay. Personally, I'm good with that playbook. But that's all up to you, man. I'm not going to tell you guys how to play or how, how what playbook to pick. And uh, right off the bat, I mean, it's wide receiver round. So I got to get a wide receiver. Uh, obviously, Stefan Diggs is good. He's slow. Tegan is the fastest, and I know this card can spin. Um, maybe Stefan Diggs can spin. It's going to have to have 82 spin move. In salary cap or in all man on all man to play, and the crazy thing about it is you can't really check the spin move, which is kind of crazy that I can't look at all their stats or all their attributes. But I know Ted Ginn can spin, so I want to pick Ted Ginn right off the bat. And that gives me one pretty fast wide receiver that can spin. That's a weapon. But here we go with the with the quarterbacks, just looking brutal, man. When you see the passing ratings all in the oranges and, and the, the shit green, that's just these. These guys are dreadful, and I, I'm honestly sick that these guys are still that the quarterback round is like this. I feel like a quarterback round should be like you know only the top ten quarterbacks, not 85s and stuff like. But I'm gonna pick Baker, probably the most mobile. He has the best throwing stats, not by much, but he definitely does. Here we go with a tight end, 82 speed. That's not bad. That's not a bad tight end. Doug Baldwin doesn't jump off the page. I told you about guys about DBs. I want as many as possible. Now Rashad Jones is not the fastest, but to secure a, you know a guy that can hit like that right away. Can certainly probably play linebacker for me. If you really think about it, he's probably going to be the 
a, a linebacker, really, with 82 speed. He's not super fast, but he definitely can hit and definitely has a great zone. Doug Baldwin, I think, at 84 speed wide receiver, I'll come across one of those in, in the future in the draft. I already got one wide receiver. I said I want eight DBs. I got to pick one in that situation. Add Rashad Jones to the team. All, all corners did this round. For me personally, the way I'm looking at it, uh, I want to pick the tallest, fastest. Definitely probably Stephon Gilmore here uh, because he's tall. He's 6'1 and 86 speed. Jenkins is really not an option. Although his ratings are really good. I mean, all these cards have pretty good ratings. I'm not really the biggest threshold. I sure it was like 91 zone. Obviously, you'd want them. But for me, I don't notice the biggest difference. The biggest difference I notice is the height of the player and the speed. I mean, Tlaib is great, but yeah, Stephon Gilmore a little bit faster. I'm going to pick Tlaib or uh, pick uh, Stephon Gilmore right there just because he's faster. Can't be mad at anybody you pick right there. They're all pretty even. Here we go. We got a D lineman. We got two linebackers. Like I said, I really want to run a nickel normal or dollar or something where DBs are my linebackers. So they're really not the biggest option for me. We got a team diamond player here, Jabal Sheard, one of the best block shedders and D lineman in the game. He's really overlooked because he's not super fast, but 76 speed is pretty fast for a D lineman. With that 91 block shed, 91 finesse, you got to go Jabal Sheard. That gives me one stud up front. I love four studs up front. Here we go with uh, tackles and, and a center. This is really a bad round right now. But obviously in this mode, in this mode for draft champions for, for my life, I've always wanted two tackles, my bookend tackles, and a center if I could. I'm not going to pick this center. I'm going to pick a left tackle and make sure. My tackles are good if anybody wants to block shed defense. Have some decent tackles out there. Uh, here we go with um just a left end. Jordan Hicks, linebacker. That's not that good looking to me. 81 speed. Uh, Michael Brockers is fat and slow. Got good block shed, man. Good strength. And I also got a Kevin Zeitler. Now, I'm not in love with a guard, but the one thing about a guard is you always put him in center. I think the center position is way more important, especially 55 odd. Might still be in the game after the patch. People might be running three-man rushes. Always like to have a good center, especially against the run. So I'm going to pick the guard, but essentially move him to center. If I want three linemen, I want a center and two tackles. Uh, this is almost a snap pick for me right here with Cromartie. I mean, DC has someone 91 speed. You definitely got to pick him. Cromartie and Gilmore so far on the outside. Rashad Jones, too. That's decent little setup for my uh, for my defense. And here we see um, Deshaun Jackson, Brandon Cooks, Hunter Henry, a good tight end, really. Uh, between Brandon Cooks, Deshaun Jackson, 91 speed, 92 speed. I mean, the, the naked eye would pick Brandon Cooks, but I know Deshaun Jackson can spin. He has over 82 spin. He can do the super spin. So that's he's going to be a better card than Brandon Cooks. So I'm going to pick Deshaun Jackson. So I have Gendon Jackson. Both of them can spin. That's very good receivers to have those two guys there. Here we go, another uh, snap pick for me, William Jackson, 89 speed. That's a great, another great DB, man. That's, I have four DBs so far, halfway through the draft, halfway to my goal of eight DBs. Now, this is tricky for me because you see this card right here, Le'Veon Bell Diamond. That's a that's a goon card to have in the middle of the round. Jordy Nelson is probably not an option for me. I already uh, He's not that much. But OJ Howard, 87 speed tight end. That's a dog tight end in draft champions to be 87 speed. I mean, personally, some of you guys might go Le'Veon Bell because, I mean, he's a, he's the best card on the board right now. He can pretty much do it all. Uh, but I am I think I'm going to pick O.J. Howard because I might not find another 87 speed tight end. I'm definitely going to get another running back because they're going to give me a running back round where it's all running backs. Now, I might get a worse. Obviously, I'm probably going to get a way worse running back than this Le'Veon Bell. But for me, personally, I don't run the ball that much. And being able to pick up a fast tight end is something that, that's really, really tough in draft champions. So for me, I'm going to pick O.J. Howard. Comment below if you would have did it differently, but we'll see how it works out for me right now. Bang, so I got a fast tight end. Got two good wide receivers. I'm going to pick Bradley Chubb here. He's got the speed. He's got the strength. He's really a good card, honestly. 84 block shed, 90 strength, 80 speed. Boom. So now I got two decent players in the front seven. Could use a couple more front seven guys. And here we go with guards, tackles. Uh, I think I'm just going to pick uh, McClendon. This is tough for me right now. I would like that other tackle. You know, I really would, but I don't think uh, Laramie Tunsil's that good. But at the same time, I don't think this uh, McClendon guy is that good. But I'm going to pick McClendon. I'd rather have, tr- have trouble with pass protection than have trouble stopping a run. Now, here's my running back round I talked about. I could have had Le'Veon Bell, but honestly, I think I'm going, ah, this is tough. I see this is where I wish I knew. If Joe Mixon could spin, I probably would definitely pick him with 88 speed, 90 acceleration. That's fast. Ajay is too slow. I know for I know Freeman can spin. So I'm gonna pick Freeman just because honestly the spin is more important than three points of speed. So Le'Veon Bell, the, 
uh, Devontae Freeman. Definitely a drop off, but I, I'm cool with Freeman for the way I play. If you want to pound the ball more, definitely pick that Le'Veon Bell. I'm here to give me uh, Robert Quinn. I'm not happy with Thomas Davis. I'll never pick Mark Barron. Ain't one speed. Let's pick one linebacker. So that linebacker takes away. Oh man, this is a snap pick clowny for me. Finish up. I mean, it's tough to pass Cam Chancellor. It really is. But you got a snap pick clowny in my opinion. That's four D linemen. No more D linemen for me. You know they give me this Calais Campbell. I almost want to pick him instead of another D O lineman. Yeah, I want to do that. I'm going to pick another D lineman. I'm going to have five D linemen and only two offensive linemen. I, and that way I can bench that McClendon guy. He wasn't that good anyway. Now we're getting a little rough here. We're, we're losing our uh, not that many DBs left. I'm going to pick a middle linebacker. So I have two linebackers. Want to grab another DB if I can. Bang. Let's grab this uh, left tackle. Let's grab Tyron Smith to be my other tackle. So I have my three linemen. Right here is tough. She's all running backs, or we're just all running backs. Definitely got to pick Eddie George. I feel like he's the only option. Although I think Franco Harris can spin, but they won't even tell me. Like I can't even see his truck. This is pretty wild. Should be able to see all the stats of the players. But I'm gonna pick Eddie George. Uh, now, the thing that's kind of killing me. I think I only have two wide receivers. Yeah, only two wide receivers. I have Bryce Butler, not terrible. Freeman, they put him automatically wide receiver. That's not a bad move. O.J. Howard can play tight wide receiver. He's 87 speed. I'm going to have uh, Armstead and Tyron Smith. I'm going to put Zeitler as center. Like I said, Baker Mayfield. Offense isn't that great looking. I mean, DJ can take in. O.J. Howard, that's good. Eddie George, obviously, is a dog. Devontae Freeman. Baker Mayfield, ugh. Offense is makeshift. Two spinners, two good running backs, fast tight end. I'm not mad at it for draft champions. I should be able to get things done. Defense, I have two, uh, two, uh, two 80 speed linebackers. Great D line. I mean, Jabal Sheard, Davion Clowney, Calais Campbell, Bradley Chubb, McClendon. Five. I wish I didn't have five. Even three could be better. But then I have a decent secondary. I wish I had more. Like I talked about, I wanted eight DBs. So I'm going to count my two linebackers because I'm essentially it's just the people I want behind my D-line. But uh, essentially I'm only going to need seven if I'm running a four down line. So Baron, uh, which I'm called Avery Williamson, one, two, three, fuck, I got four DBs. So I'm going to have to run somebody else. Maurice Alexander doesn't look like a bad card. 85 hit power, 83 speed. Or eight, yeah, that's a very good base card. Looks like it could really play on my team. But I, I, I like the defense. I really do. I mean, I'm not... Disappointed really in anything. Wish I would have had one more DB would have really and you gotta check these guys too, man. When people don't do this, you know, check the base cards because they'll have some of your better players really on the bench. Like Chris Conti has 79 speed. I'd rather put in one of these bench guys, 83 speed, or Marcus Cooper, 82 speed, 6'2. I'm gonna put him in. So I said I wish I would have had some more DBs on this this uh team right here, but I definitely have a great D-line to be able to stop the run. Sheard, Campbell, Clowney. Definitely got Rashad Jones, Gilmore, Cromarty, William Jackson. Boom. I like that team. It's, it's makeshift. Nothing pops out, but nothing's nothing's bad. I can really fight with it. Let's try another one to give you guys a feel of what I'm thinking. We'll go here. I don't really care about the playbook. Sometimes you'll pick a playbook with two tight ends. You want to use two tight ends a little more. Obviously, this is pick New England every time, but you know, don't want to don't want to get used to picking New England because it's not likely you're going to get that. First round, we're going to go ahead and, I mean, this is just a Drek round right now. I think I'm going to pick D4. A little, a little bit of speed, decent 80, 85 finesse. He can rush the passer a little bit. He if, I mean, he, might, he might be a user or somebody in the middle to play uh, linebacker. Love my man A.J. Boye, but uh, 82 speed ain't it. I'm going to pick this Marcus Latt Marshawn Lattimore here because uh, he has a little bit better ratings than a Mukamura. Pick uh, Marshawn Lattimore. Always say Marcus Lattimore from that Maryland running back from years ago. But, uh, and here, oh, we got, if you can have an 85 speed linebacker, I think that's like an automatic pick at 85 speed linebacker in this mode. So I got two linebackers in the middle. There's Zeitler again. There's D tackle at Not Terry Poe. Pick a D tackle. A lot of rounds went by this. Five rounds, or uh, give me one lineman. Uh, here we go again. I'm going to pick bolsa build that front line build that front seven man i remember jay mills said it in the first draft channel build your line that's what i like to do when i get here uh right here like i said i like two i like two bookend tackles i'll pick trent williams that's a dog left tackle 
this round, uh, Eric Reed, 86 speed. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick him. 90 hit power. That's a good DB. Let's get these DBs and get these line, get this line. Ted Ginn, once again, snap pick. Any wide receiver that can spin, any running back that can spin should be on your team. Um, This round, oh, this is tough. Demarcus Lawrence, that, that, he's better than that card in real life than that card is. This is a tough round because Shaq Thompson and Ha Clinton Dix pretty much are the same person. Uh, I'm going to pick... Because they can kind of play interchangeable positions. I'm going to pick uh, Shaq Thompson. So I have three linebackers now. That's a lot. And I'm going to pick another one because I'm going to pick Telvin Smith as a guy that I pretty much pick every time. So now D4 is going to play on the line. Got wide receiver around. I think Emmanuel Sanders can spin. I'm not sure, but I think I'll pick him anyway because he's 89 speed. A.J. Green gives me a hope. I might pick A.J. Green. That's, that's an option. But I, any one of these guys, other than Kelvin, I'm not picking Kelvin. Just too slow. and I know he can't spin. But I'm going to pick uh, E-Man Sanders. Uh, here we go. Let's pick my right tackle. I'm going to I'm gonna have to move Bosa inside. Although Sheldon Rankins is just, he looks like a dog. 72 speed. Uh, let, me pick, uh, let me pick my right tackle. Get my tackles secured. Two heavyweights at tackle. That's good. Bang. And I'm going to pick uh, Odell here. Get my three wide receivers. That's three fast, short wide receivers that can spin. Love it. I passed up on a fat guy. I got to pick. Uh, or I got Dante Poe already. I feel like I have to pick. Uh, I have Bosa and I have D4 to end. I'm going to pick Vita Vea. Play the middle two. Two fat guys in the middle that are strong. Let's keep swinging these DBs, man. I need these DBs. Gilmore. I got Gilmore and Lattimore now. I need DBs. That's the number one thing I need. Uh, let me pick uh, Eric Ebron. I don't know Niles Paul is decent. Hyde can spin. I know that. But I'm going to have a running back round. I don't I really need more than one running back. And here's my running back round. Uh, this is a bad Kamara. Sheesh. Latavius Murray. Got to be the pick, right? 89 speed. 6'3". Got to pick Murray there. Team's looking good right now. I like this team a lot better than the last one. Look at Now I can get Jabal Sheard, too. He's an end, so he can play inside and D-tackle. A lot of D-linemen. I really need some DBs popping right now. Uh, these quarterbacks suck, too. I'm going to pick Carson Wentz because he's Carson Wentz. Really need a DB in this round, and I don't get one. Uh, shit. I think what I have to do here is I have to go ahead and uh, pick Steve Smith, I think. It sucks because I have enough linebackers. Have enough linebackers. Have a tight end. I'm going to pick Steve Smith and bench somebody. But this team defensively didn't come together like I wanted it to. Uh, what do I wind up with? Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Great offense, I think. Really good. Two tackles. Good running back. Great wide receivers. Great wide receivers. Carson Wentz, a quarterback. Ebron, that's a decent tight end. Eric Reed. Like I said, we got the two corners. All these other guys are... I mean, this guy's pretty good. Daryl Robbins, 85 speed. That's pretty good. He's going to have to play safety or something because I need some speed out here. D-line and linebackers are just on the juice. Darius Leonard with the 85 speed. Telvin Smith. Shaq Thompson. D Ford. D line is stupid good. My secondary is definitely lacking on this team, as you can see by how many linebackers I have. Probably had to stay in some type of 4 3 or something like that to put all these D line and linebackers on the field. But the offense is good. I, I probably like this team more than the first team, man. But let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, what picks you think I did wrong, what picks you would have did differently, and what do you value most on your team, man? Do you like to make sure you get a couple running backs? Maybe you like two running backs, mix out the rotation, things like that. But let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to learn more about draft champions and continue to post about, you know, drafting a good team because I want all you guys competing. I want you guys developing your, your uh, games to compete at the highest level, man.